so you got a new home, you got a new office, you got a new girlfriend, and you want to move your PC. And you did, because you're a go-getter. And you take this PC and you, and you take it and you move it somewhere else and then you plug it in. You got your keyboard, you got your mouse, you got your monitor, you got your, your power supply plug in. And you, got, you got your on button, right? And you go home and you go. And nothing. What do you do? A stronger power supply means you need to use the stronger cables that come with the stronger power supply. If you use your older cables that are that are rated for the 750 watt or 800 watt power supply or 850 watt power supply that you're pulling out of the old PC and you plug them straight into your new 1300 watt power supply because you got a new beefy graphics card and you want to power it and you try to turn your PC on and nothing happens and you get the VGA error light. Well, this is this is where I think you should probably start when it when you when you're troubleshooting. What happened was we moved the PC from point A to point B. Point B was obviously the studio that is replacing this setting and point A obviously being here. And when it got moved there, it just stopped working. It wouldn't turn on, right? So, and my tech couldn't fix it. He couldn't fix it to save his life. And so, what ended up happening is they, he declared it that it's, it's because it was moved around. So, so, we got two issues. We have the VGA light issue, right? The VGA error light. Second, we have the boot light. We're going to focus on the VGA light first because without any display, you know, we can't see the boot menu. So how are we going to figure that out unless we figure out that VGA issue, which is our graphics card, the GPU. We don't know what's going on with it. We just know that the board is saying, hey, y you should check it out. So let's figure it out. Let's tear it apart. All right. So... All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and unplug this bad boy. Let's go ahead and power down. That is very dusty fans. We're gonna clean that. I look, I can pull these VGA wires first, right? And let's see what's going on. <sighs> Thinking ahead, I actually already pulled an extra VGA wire right here. So I'm a genius, yes. Yeah, because that really helped. Let's see if we can't get the draw it needs running three separate individual wires instead of a split wire. And this is more of a breakdown for you the average user, right? I'm not gonna I'm not using like complex terminology, I hope. If I am making something more complicated than it needs to be, please let me know. I'm trying to just this is just a simple troubleshoot. That's what it is. We were running into this issue ourselves. I thought I'd make a video about it. And, you know, I can't even get this wire to see because if it would want to get in there, life was going so good until you wire, until you came into my life, until you didn't want to get in there. It's a six pin. I hate you. Why don't you want to get in there? That is because it's a six pin. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Now, now I want to check if we still get that VGA light. Let's just check that. Then we're going to go ahead and check on that boot device. I'm like the PC whisperer. I redact that statement. Oh, come on, baby. Just, just work. Just. Mm. 
<laughs> he didn't fix anything. The lights are still on. Uh, is it gone? Is it gone? Is it gone? It's gone, right? It's gone. It was gone until I looked at you. you it was pretty clear from here what needed to be done next. Those VGA wires that were plugged into the card couldn't draw enough power from the 1300 watt power supply that somebody decided to install into the computer because they weren't graded for that because they probably came from 750 watt power supplies. So let's go ahead and just pull them because yeah, we're gonna put the 1300 watt power supplies that came with the 1300 watt power supply because they can draw from that power supply safely. The card wasn't getting enough power. That's the hypothesis. We're gonna just check it out. Let's tear it down. You don't want to work, huh, computer? You think that you're special? You think that you just get to get by while all the other computers in the house work, huh? I don't think so. Not on my watch. Now let's see what kind of disaster wiring plan is going on back here. I bet it's a mess. I bet. Let's look together. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, I was I was about to be in instant regret mode. I was I was about to be regretting it like doing this video. So 1300 watt power supply, we're good up there. Let's just swap the VGA. Of course, I unslotted and reslotted the card before I came to the to the wire hypothesis. I just wanted to let you guys know. Seeing sometimes slotting and reslot unslotting and reslotting helps the cause, and so. For the sake of troubleshooting, let's go ahead and let, let's explore that route for just a second. Dirty bit. It's so dirty. Okay, so because I haven't played too much with the switches on these cards. You know, if you guys notice that there's this little these little switches, BIOS switch or like performance mode. Um, performance mode means faster. Um, I have noticed though that being in BIOS mode will automatically try to pull driver info and will let you just automatic will cause that VGA air light before and so I just actually thought about that but I don't think that's the issue good cuz it's not oh, magnetized Can you get on with it? All right, so we re-slotted the card and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give it some more, we're gonna repower up. This is the problem, actually. This cord right here. This he doesn't know it yet, but it's the other wire. He's gonna pull the wrong wire. <laughs> what an idiot. And I'll show you guys why. This is a very underrated cord. This is the cord that was actually, this, this cord doesn't pull enough power. It's rated for 700 watt or 500 watt, no, 750 watt modular power supply. Let's go ahead. 
let's go ahead and realize that all of the VGA wires are at the other studio that's been okay so that didn't work because you pulled the wrong wire all right so we got the other wire now and we swapped we, we, we swapped them all we, we replaced them all right and so the studio tech could not fix this pc to save his life so i'm really i'm really hoping this does the job right because i really i i, I want to pour some salt in the wound you know i want to really rub it in i want to <laughs> this is, yes yes come on all right suck on that studio you see that getting device ready we're getting see we're live studio secondary PC for the 6900 XG testing works you guys we got it done so VGA so let's talk about the issue right it was the least common thing to think about when you see a VGA error I actually ended up not swapping the GPU out at all. This was the issue right here. This it is a uh, it is, this wire is rated G3, but this is a eight pin to six, six pin to eight pin with an adapter. I used two split G3 EVGA wires that had a uh, six a uh, four two eight pins. Uh, 8 pin and 8 pin, 8 pin and 8 pin. So we have two 8 pins and a 6 pin connected, both G3 EVGA wires, and that solved the problem. Computer booted right up. It was this. This was the issue. Um, nothing else was more wrong with it. Um, I guess during the move process, um, what ended up happening is they swapped the power supply out, and then they used just a mixed bag of wires they weren't thinking that these wires right here do not work with all the power supplies so with that being said that solved our problem um whatever issue you may be having leave a comment down below like and subscribe let us know what your issue is and let us help you if we cannot solve the problem for you we will find somebody that can there's plenty of help out there so thank you again for watching our channel and we are excited to show you guys the studio that should be done in two days. So we will be recording from there from then on out. And we really hope you guys have been enjoying our videos. Thanks again. Have a blessed night. I know that wasn't the best review video. Um, it was kind of just a quick breakdown and kind of just wanted to get the situation solved while we had our studio getting set up. Um, I don't really have enough space here to record properly. So in two days, when we move to our new studio, we'll, be, we'll have a much better setup, a lot more space. We'll be able to do these videos a lot better. So I just wanted to point that out that um, this isn't uh, the quality isn't per permanent that this I'm just working with what I have until that studio gets ready. So again, I really appreciate you guys watching, by the way.